President-elect Trump appoints Susie Wiles as first female White House Chief of Staff. President-elect Donald Trump announced on Thursday that Susie Wiles, his campaign manager and longtime strategist, will serve as White House Chief of Staff. Wiles's appointment marks the first major decision in Trump's transition to his second administration, set to begin on January 20th. Trump praised Wiles, describing her as universally admired and respected, and credited her with playing an integral role in his 2016 and 2020 campaigns, as well as his recent 2024 victory. At 67, Wiles is the first woman appointed as White House Chief of Staff, a milestone in Trump's team formation as they continue to evaluate candidates for key cabinet roles. Her appointment comes as Trump's transition team considers numerous individuals for top positions, emphasizing loyalty to the former president. A veteran political operative in Florida, Wiles previously led campaigns for figures such as Rick Scott, Ron DeSantis, and Trump himself in Florida during the 2016 and 2020 elections. Known for her behind-the-scenes approach, Wiles has been a steady presence in Trump's circle, maintaining a close rapport with him and managing his 2024 campaign's budget and hiring. Reports indicate that Mark Pallada, former general counsel in Trump's Office of Management and Budget, is a contender for Attorney General. Pallada, known for his role in several controversial policies during Trump's first term, is seen as a loyal and experienced option for the role. Additionally, Stephen Miller, a key architect of Trump's immigration policies, is expected to return to the administration, while Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has reportedly been advising Trump on health-related appointments from Mar-a-Lago. In a familiar display of his preference for high-profile decision-making, Trump is expected to take his time with further announcements, a process that some aides describe as showmanship. The activity at Mar-a-Lago highlights Trump's focus on selecting trusted individuals who will be loyal to his administration as he prepares to work with a Republican-led Senate and potentially a GOP-controlled House. Trump and his advisers are prioritizing individuals with a record of support for his agenda, a shift from his approach in 2016, when he brought in several individuals with whom he had no established relationships. According to insiders, the selection process is still in early stages, with more formal transition developments expected in the coming week. Trump has spoken with several foreign leaders recently, though specifics have not been disclosed. In addition to Wiles's role, Trump's team is also vetting potential domestic and financial policy aides, with notable figures such as Joyce Meyer and Kevin Walsh involved in the process. The strategic assembly of Trump's second-term team reflects his intent to secure a team aligned with his goals, with a renewed emphasis on loyalty and experience as he prepares for a new term.